Hello and welcome to this video about the California Audio Labs Tested Mark III. As you see, it's in bits because it didn't read CDs. It would spin and no amount of tuning, which is conveniently all located in one spot and it's sort of well labeled. I really like the good silk screening. And you know, it, it, it's missing the um, phase log loop uh, pot. But other than that, there's nicely conveniently written up, you know, RF is there, which is a very important test point. Um, so I've well, decided to open it up and, and check what's inside, and I found those capacitors. So um, four capacitors that were faulty, one micro, and you can see that one's got 32 ohm of ESR. Well, that's no good, but that's a, that's a good one, like uh, the other one, the other one... Um, shows, uh, that would be interesting, it shows it's 54 picofarad, and that one there just says unknown part, so uh, four of those capacitors, so gear doesn't need sort of recapping, like all of it, it's normally one or two values that were not up to standard, and these are the ones that failed. And you replace them, the rest I've tested, they all, you know, test fine as if they were new. So, um, things do not have to age, it's just the poor quality ones do age. But, um, why, doing, why am I doing this video? Uh, this is, um, obviously California Audio Lab is a, is a well-known um, manufacturer of high-end stuff. This is... Uh, as you see, magnetic drive mechanism. It's a Panasonic Technic Sode 70. But, you know, all very good, you know, properly done on magnetic rails and it's got the wheel just like um, KSS 151A has. So, um, at the time, many manufacturers did things properly. And uh, and this one, I've seen one of those before, which was um, sent to me as faulty. And all it had was the head that was locked. And of course, um, when you press that button there, it, uh, or maybe from the bottom, yeah, from the bottom, that's, that's the locked position. And then the head doesn't move anymore. And it uh, engages um, the, uh, the mechanism there. Uh, it's hard to see, but it, that there is a hole uh, that um, you can see. I've shorted the um, ends of the ribbon cable so that the uh, laser diode is protected. So to you know un unlock it, you just need to press that button, and and the head is free. Whereas in in Sony's, it's um, very awkward to get it uh, from um, from the bottom. Well, this one's also. Uh, you can unlock it from the bottom, but, but to lock it you have to open the unit up, which a technician would do. So, um, interestingly, first time I see this arrangement, there are just gliders there that engage uh, for the power supply for the magnets there. Never seen that um, arrangement before. So, you know, at the time, in the good old days, end of, seven, uh, end of 80s and beginning of 90s, Many manufacturers did proper mechanism, not just Sony and Philips, as is um, commonly believed. Well, that's all uh, when I, this, uh, this is a loader um, for it. Um, when I assemble it and it works, I might do another video um, about it. Well, thank you very much. Until the next one. Bye.